I literally took my case off my phone for one fucking second and I dropped it. It's fine, but still. Okay, so what is up, you guys? My name's Ollie, and today I wanted to make a video talking about being like both trans and gay because that's that's me, that's what I am, and both tranny and gay. Like, gotta collect all those privilege points, you know what I'm saying? Being both trans and gay, or at least being trans and liking people of the same gender as you, as well as like the opposite gender, is very much more common than even I expected it to be. Like, it's, I probably know I definitely know actually more not straight trans people than I do know straight trans people. There's this like common misconception uh, with trans people, I think anyways, that like trans men like me are just like really butch lesbians that just took it, just took it too far, okay? And then like trans women are like really camp feminine gay guys that just took it too fucking far, which obviously isn't the case, but. My gender and my sexuality, like the discovery of the two definitely affected each other, if that makes any sense. So like basically, so I only like men exclusively. I used to think I was bi, I'm gonna explain that a little bit right now. So my sexuality, I've always liked guys, right? And that was normal because I was a girl. So like no one, I didn't question my sexuality because obviously the norm is to be straight so it didn't wasn't weird that I liked guys but then as I got older dating guys made me really uncomfortable and I couldn't figure out why which later on I realized was because I'm trans and it made me uncomfortable to be like the girlfriend um, so so then I thought oh maybe I like girls and then I started to think like because I've always found girls attractive you know but I don't want to date them but I thought I did and I even had a couple of girlfriends um, and that still, I didn't like that either, really. And I was like, fuck, maybe I'm just a fucking... I was gonna say alien, but like, I'm not gonna judge aliens' lives, you know? Then I was like, okay, so dating men made me feel uncomfortable. Dating women makes me feel uncomfortable. So like, great, I'm just a fucking weirdo then. Um, and then when I realized I was trans, I realized that that was probably what was affecting my relationships. And not, then when I'd figured out I was trans, I was like, oh shit, okay, like, what is my sexuality then? And I predominantly fancied males, but I used to say that I was like 80% gay and 20% like into girls. And I've just, I know I'm gay. I'm just gay. I can't date girls. <laughs> I'm just too much of a twink. <laughs> it's definitely a little bit weird to be both trans and gay because like, I really like the fact that I'm gay. I'm proud to be gay. And it's definitely something that like, I am want to be out about to the whole world, you know? Like, I'm stealth at work, which means they don't know I'm trans, but they all know I'm gay. And I like that. I like, because I feel like a lot of my personality and like, I like to be part of the LGBT community and to be able to represent it and to be proud of it, but without people knowing I'm trans because I'm not proud to be trans. And they are two very different things. Even though they're part of the same community, in my personal opinion, being trans, it's not fun, you know? And I really like being gay, honestly. Like, I wouldn't, I don't want to be straight. It's funny because after I came out as trans, I was like kind of not worried because like after I come out of trans, like if people accept me for that, they're not gonna care that I like guys as well. But in my head, I was like, okay. So I came out as liking girls, right? Before I came out as trans and then I realized I was trans and I was like, okay, I came out as trans. Obviously this was a whole, this was a much bigger ordeal than I'm explaining it as, but you know what I mean. And then when I realized I liked guys, I was like, I just really fucking can't be asked to come out again. Like I've already come out like three times at this point and I was like, I just, I don't want to. So I kind of didn't tell anyone straight away that I liked guys as well. And then I like gradually kind of explained it to people. Coming out as gay was definitely my like least big deal coming out. Like me liking girls was the first time I came out. I was terrified, blah, blah, blah. No one gave a shit really. Trans, obviously a whole ordeal that I've made videos about this, you know how that went down. <laughs> and then when I came out as gay, like even with my mom, I like told her, like we were talking about um, one of my mom's best friend's son is pansexual. And I was like, oh, and this is when I thought I was bisexual. And I was like, I kind of like that, you know, I like both. And then she was like, wait, you like guys too? And I was like, yeah. And now I talk about liking guys all the time. I'm assuming she's just caught on to the idea that I am in fact gay. <laughs> I know this sounds weird as well, but it's really nice that like, because sometimes I feel like being trans, you, you, you've been brought up to have these more feminine traits, you know? I know I talk with my hands a lot, people say that all the time. Uh, I don't think I have many feminine traits, but I probably have a, at least a few. And you know, I'm very in touch with my emotions and like, I don't have any real toxic masculinity or any of that shit. And that's very common within gay guys. I'm not saying straight guys don't do any of these things, like don't come for me, but you know what I'm saying. There are certain traits that like, gay guys have and they can be seen as quite feminine. So like, it makes me feel less dysphoric if I ever think like, I don't know if you can hear that, but like, fucking rude, I'm in the middle. 
I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> I don't know what this video was. This was just like a stream of consciousness. I don't know if you like this kind of thing where I just ramble and talk about things. I don't know. Did you like this video? Give it a like if you did and comment down below if you relate to any of these things. Are you like part of the LGBT community in two ways? Just one? Let me know. I'm interested. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I post one video every single week. And other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next time. In the next time. Yeah.